Greetings, travelers. It has been a good while since I last gave an update. Huh. But I'm excited to showcase to you all a bunch of things added in. So let's begin. The first thing I added in was an in-game text, which includes an introduction that paints a small canvas of what the story has in store for you. In a dialog box, which showcases what the character is saying and any hints on how to do things. And I will show you the whole thing, but I don't want to spoil the moment, you know? Just keep it a little secret. I love secrets. You should too. I also updated the elf character portrait with my current skills in pixel art. And if you compare the two portraits, this one was made back in February, and the current one. You can see that I improved so much in just 7 months. Like, it's insane. Like, it's the best feeling having to compare your past work to your current work. Next up, we have a working pause screen, with the resume button working and the shortcut, which is P, working as well. In the previous devlog I did about screens and UI, I made the screens a little bit too complicated, since you had to go through like the option screens and the other screens and then blah 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 screens. But you can have all the screens in just one spot. So I did just that. I took out the option screen and put the settings and exit to title screen here. As for the inventory section, I'm not going to include that in the demo since it would serve no purpose at the moment. Especially since I'm not sure how to code the weapon switching yet. So it would be best to minimize the scope in the demo. That way it could be more polished and be completed on time. Now, there's a couple of cool stuff I want to show you all that involves my gingerbread people. Starting with an almost finished drawing of a cutscene picture. In this dreadful picture, we see two gingerbreads dragging a friend of ours to their chambers. Who knows what they're going to be doing to him? And you see the main character's hand reach out to him as he gets dragged away into the abyss. I'm going to show this once the player reaches inside the chambers to give a reminder of the tragedy that just happened before and to install fear and determination to your mind for what they will soon face. Which leads me to showcase the redesign of the last part of level 2 and the gingerbread chambers. Alright, so as you progress through the forest, you will notice at the bottom is just a little pathway. If we go through it, it will take us to a small pathway that loops upwards. But in this small pathway, there is another totem you can save, since the path it came from is no longer accessible. And what lies ahead is going to be crazy. So with that knowledge in mind, let's proceed! As you just now witness, that was an in-game cutscene, very similar from the picture we saw. And once that cutscene ends, you win a long series of fights in a long pathway. You will fight through a ton of gingerbreads in an attempt to rescue your elf friend. After all that fighting is done, we will reach the area where you have to solve a puzzle to open the door. I'm not sure what puzzle it would be, but once said puzzle is completed, then... will be another save room, in which there are no enemies and you can save your progress. However, the tone I'm going for for this room is something that will make you feel a little anxious, maybe even suspicious, and your feelings will be correct, because after you go to this door, you will be having a boss battle. That's right, a good old boss battle to end the demo. And this beautiful abomination will be your final challenge. This room is big enough for in case I decide to get some unique fighting styles for it. And if you look at the walls, you will see it's a whole lot taller. And there's eyes watching you from the shadows. It's crazy, right? I'll probably add more stuff here to make it look nicer. But yeah, that's the progress I have so far. Which is pretty hype! Next devlog will be about making all the enemies on level 2. A working save system. And hopefully a working bow since I have issues with that still. And as you wait for the next devlog, I made another game jam submission 2 months ago. For a small team of talented people. And their names are... Da Vinci. And Dr. Manticore. And the game that we made is called for their entertainment. The Jam version is available to play on the web browser. The polished version is available for download. 
And for the full game, we are still working on that. Once the full game is green light, we plan to hopefully do a game dev commentary video comparing the two versions, the jam and the full game. Also fun fact, Dr. Manticore is assisting us in creating soundtracks for Elfie for Christmas. And the soundtracks I'm hearing so far, it's epic. Since we are approaching my first ever game anniversary, Pokemon Soul, I decided that I will be streaming that bad boy again, giving my commentary and thoughts on it as well. I will provide a stream schedule for that soon if you want to stop by and experience that journey with me. Maybe we can do some interactive moments as well, where you guys can decide certain decisions for me that could make my gameplay experience harder or easier. So that's going to be exciting. Anyways, I will be linking the Game Jam page and my Twitch stuff in the description below. So if you like this video, be sure to give a like and subscribe for more update on my future content. With that in mind, I shall bid you all farewell.